What's going on guys? I am What the Moose and I'm starting up my Madden Ultimate Team in Mutt 16 or in Madden 16, whatever you want to call it. We're going to pick the Cowboys for my uniform. Obviously, I'm a Cowboys fan, but it'll change as we go along. We got a bunch of options here, but I'm going to go short pass. I know it gives you a Jameis Winston. Um, I forgot what the other ones give you, but um, I know the short pass gives you Jameis Winston. So I'm going to go uh, short pass, get the Jameis Winston as my starting quarterback to start it off. What are we going to get? Contracts. Yep, Jameis Winston, 70 overall. Packs often contain contracts you can spend to add games to your players and coach. And whenever you receive new items, it'll be in the new item screen. Obviously, that's pretty normal like it was last year. So let's keep it going. Jameis Winston, who's the next guy? Josh Allen. That's interesting. This is kind of cool. I wonder if this is how you open packs. Also, J.J. Nelson, Clark Harris, and a Chip Kelly is my head coach, even though I picked the Cowboys. So that's kind of funny. I'm glad I got Jameis, though. Should be a solid starting QB, at least for the first few solos I'm going to be doing. Let's see what else we got here. Start here. Objectives is a series of tasks to help you complete your ultimate goal. So we're going to take a look at this. Choose a uniform. Choose the style. Already did all that. And then with your 50 coins, purchase and open the welcome pack. We get an achievement for that. This is my ultimate team. And we got new rewards. I'll take a look at the loyalty rewards in a little bit for you guys. Uh, so you guys can see. It looks like we got like about 7k for loyalty. So not bad. I'm not too excited about it. But it's not bad. So I'll take it. So let's open the welcome pack. See what we're going to get. It's probably not going to be anything huge. But maybe a gold or something like that. We get... Oh collectible mutt tip add to set earn rewards by completing sets to add items such as this collectible to a set select the item and choose add to set so let's do that real fast add to set pretty similar to last year the design is pretty is a little bit different but overall very similar add to set and that'll be good who are we gonna get a Brio franklin should be a decent defensive tackle and everybody else is probably just gonna be bronzes and stuff we got arizona stadium and this is cool it says closed so that should be an interesting thing there should be two versions of each stadium i would think falcons home Daquan Bowers and a Browns offensive playbook. So that'll do it for this. Let's see what else we're going to get. We do still have 7,000 coins, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty glad that we have that. Looks like we also got a reward pack for something. I don't know what this is, but I will take it. CJ Goodwin, Dewey, Donald, or McDonald. Uh, D. Milliner, I'll take that. That's not bad. Uh, 74 overall cornerback. Not too upset about that at all. And can I sell him? I cannot sell this, so I can only quick sell it. But hey, I'll take it. Should be my number one corner for about five minutes or so we got a loyalty collectible right here let's see what we can do with this you can add it to the sets i'll take a look at those sets in a little bit so you guys can see it let's see complete 100 unique sets in madden nfl 15 we got 2500 coins for that complete 50 we get a thousand win 100 solos 2500 win 50 solos a thousand and play madden nfl 15 online on the xbox one we get another loyalty badge madden nfl 15 loyalty collections i think we got like six of these or five something like that yeah five i'll take it and let's see what else. So, welcome pack is done. I think we might be done with our objectives now. Let's see. Use a lot of tools to generate best lineup. That should be pretty easy. We'll do that really fast for you guys to see it. Shouldn't be hard at all. You just press Y and then generate best lineup. And I'll do best overall. Looks like we're going to be a 61 overall to start it off. But we're going to be opening some packs. So, it shouldn't be a, a, big, a big deal that we're that low. But let's go take a look at the sets and see what we can do with the loyalties right now. That's what I'm interested in. Also, this is pretty cool. We'll take a look at this later on. But 2 for 1 pro pack. 150 um, points and you can get a quick pro pack so that's pretty cool we're gonna be doing some pack openings later on you guys know that though let's go to sets pretty similar like it was last year first one captains we'll take a look at all these um, in depth I think after I do the loyalties I'll show you guys uh, I think the loyalties are in this redemption thing right here these are the sets or these are sets I should say uh, whatever ultimate team kickoff I gotta play a solo to do that these are season vets so don't worry about that and then the pro pack that's if you pull one of those in a pro pack so here are the things you can get for loyalties. Starter offensive upgrade, you add one loyalty badge here to earn 10 offensive silver players. Not the best, but okay. Same thing on the defense, 10 defensive silver players. Got a loyalty gift pack, which is going to give you one gold player, two silvers, three bronze, and four team items. I'm definitely going to do that. That's pretty much a pro pack, um, if you ask me. Although I'm not sure if you're going to be able to sell those players. Got the contract pack, which I'm almost certainly going to do a couple of if I can. Um, you can add one loyalty badge here to earn uh, 250 contracts. Now that's not bad. And then a loyalty player pack, which I think is going to give you an elite. I'm purely guessing, but we're definitely going to do this one. Let's see what we're going to get. So we're going to toss this into the set, add the set there, and we'll see what we're going to get. Let's finish out the other uh, loyalty sets and all that stuff. Oh, it looks like we cannot do it multiple times. So um, you can only do it one time. Fair enough. I think we'll just do every single one once then, I guess. Uh, there's not really much else you could do. Uh, I was hoping they'd be repeatable. I don't really know why they're not, but... What are you going to do? Oh, it looks like this contract one is. Okay, so the loyalty player pack you cannot do twice, but the contract you can. We're going to do the loyalty uh, right here. Loyalty gift pack I think is essentially a pro pack pretty much. 
So let's see what we're gonna get. And you can also do that multiple times, but I'm gonna do the contract one a few times. Um, I won't, sp I won't, you know, make you guys look at this too many times, but we'll open those and I'll use the rest of mine in, uh, you know, off camera or whatever. I don't need to make you guys wait. So let's open the loyalty player pack. I just want to see what that's up, what's up with that, and what we can get with it, to be honest. So let's go to our own open packs. Pretty similar design. The menus are kind of slow right now. Hopefully that's not like it is uh, the entire year. But let's open these contract packs. Pretty much just going to be 250 contracts in the top right, probably. 100 coin quick sell. I'll take it. That's no big deal. And also 250 contracts in the top right. You guys are seeing that. So let's open the last contract pack. I kind of like the contracts because I'm going to be playing a ton of solos. And uh, it's really going to help out. So let's do that. And uh, let's keep going. Um, and uh, let's see, gift pack, loyalty player pack. Let's open the gift pack first. I think the loyalty player pack is the one, like I said, that's going to give you a pretty solid player. Got a Ontario McCaleb. Don't even know what that guy's name is. Nissan Stadium. Dolphins defense, Alonzo Harris. Kobe Fleener, 81 overall tight end. That's not bad at all. Actually, a pretty solid card. This is a pretty good loyalty thing right here. Let's see if I can sell this Fleener. That would be nice. No, you cannot trade him or trade or auction him. So fair enough. He will be my starting tight end for now, but we're not worried about that. Like I said, I'm going to be opening a lot of packs, so don't worry about that. And then the loyalty player pack. Let's see. Who is this going to be? Who are we going to get in this one? Can it be somebody nasty? That would be sick. 90 overall, Oda Beckham Jr. So that's pretty awesome. I'm not sure this is who everybody's getting, and I'm not sure if you can extend his contracts. It, does, it says 25 contracts remaining, and it says I can extend his contracts. I can add games to it, so I guess this is a player you can have for a while. So I would say if you guys have a loyalty badge, absolutely do this one. You got to do it. There's no doubt about it. This card's pretty sweet. I don't know why they're giving it to you for free, but I will take it. So you got a 90 overall Odell Beckham Jr. if you have one uh, loyalty badge. At least I think it'll be a 90 overall Odell. That's what I got, obviously. So that does it for that. Let's take a look at some sets, though, and a little bit more of a breakdown for you guys. I know this will be a long video, but it'll give you a nice insight into what uh, Mutt is like this year. So we got the captain sets, 32 sets overall. You guys are going to see them here. We'll take a look inside the Bears just to give you an, uh, give you a, a little breakdown. They're going to give you a 90 overall Kyle Long and obviously a ton of players. You got one elite in all these. I looked at them a couple days ago. And then you got two elite badge and then two captain tokens from the NFL journey, which we'll take a look at those solos in a little bit. Now, what else we got? We got the warehouse, which is pretty similar. I'm not going to take a look at that. Vault, same thing. Legends are pretty cool. I'll take a look at these. Um, let's see what Terrell Davis is looking like. He's got uh, five legend badges, so we're not exactly sure how you get these legend badges yet. Let's see if any are on the auction house. Probably not. Nope. Not too many people playing this game right now, but five legend badges. Still don't know how to get those. And then a uh, collectible from their solo challenge, and then four other collectibles from uh, that you need to get in packs. So pretty cool. Uh, that'll be interesting to see how you get those done. And let's see what else. The master. Let's see what is up with the Master. Style Master, you collect all eight style trophies and you get a 92 overall Romo and 92 overall Glover Quinn. Like you guys know about, all the same thing. Pretty similar to Mutt 15 there. Now on the 50, you need to earn Super Bowl patches from packs and weekly Super Bowl Sunday challenges. Add all 50 Super Bowl patches to the set to earn a large coin reward and a 99 overall Super Bowl edition MVP. Uh, MVP edition Steve Young. So let's take a look inside. It's pretty cool. All the Super Bowl patches, pretty much Super Bowl 1 and so on. All that stuff. Very, very cool. Not sure how you're going to get those per se. I know it says from packs and uh, weekly challenges, but hopefully it's not too tough. Then we got the Gauntlet Master. This is going to take forever for sure. You got 10 Gauntlet badges or whatever these are. So I'm not really sure exactly how you're going to get those, but obviously you're going to have to play the Gauntlet. And then finally, the Mutt Master, the tank, the beast of them all. Got a bunch of elite badges as always. Got like 10 of them. An NFL Journey Collectible, Captain Master all over the place. Got to do all the Captain sets and then all the style ones. And yeah, a lot. And then Season Master, you need like 10 of those. So that's not going to be the easiest thing to do. You got to do a lot of playing, but that's why it's called Mutt Master. So let's take a look at some solo challenges, see what's up with those, and then we'll end out the video. I know it's been a long one, but it's definitely been a good one. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. So solo challenges, let's see what's up with these. Welcome to solo challenges. You guys already know about that though. NFL Journey, let's see what's up with these. See what you can get. You got the prospect one. Solo challenge sequences can be made up of one game that unlock better rewards as you make your way through the sequence. So definitely read that too quick, but whatever. Uh, you got the prospect games, then the rookie games, then the starter, then the pro, then the veteran, then the all pro, superstar, and finally elite. Nope, all Madden, and then ultimate. So there's a ton of these guns. They are crazy, and you have to do certain things. So let's see, for the all pro, let's say you have to get to, uh, obviously you have to beat all the veteran ones. So you can't just hop into all pro. You got to beat all of them at once. So that is pretty cool. Should take you quite a while. Uh, let's take a look at the gauntlet though. I know a lot of people were curious about this. There's 33 rookie games, 33 pro, 
33 All Pro, and then 33 All Madden, which is going to be really tough. And you don't actually have to beat the ones before it, but you do need to have a certain team skill. So for All Madden, you need an 80. All Pro, you need a 75. And uh, Pro, you need a 70. Whereas right now, you can hop right into the rookie and just play the first game. So that's pretty cool. Um, you have to select the first game to play it. And then obviously, you keep going. And obviously, the coin rewards are higher as you go along. I want to see what the coin reward for the final rookie game is. That's what I'm kind of curious about. Is it going to be high or not? 5,000 coins for the final rookie game along with a gauntlet item. So pretty cool. I like the solos. I like them a lot. Let's see what the style master is. And then I think I'm going to end this one out. Is your style rating high enough? Let's take a look at it. Short pass. There's four games. I think it's going to be pretty normal. So for this one, does it say what you need? Uh, defeat the zone defense team with a strong short pass to earn a boosted short pass style bronze player that can help unlock the next challenge. So you need a, you need a 20 for the first one, I think. Or maybe you can just play it regardless. Um, and then the next one you need a style of 40 or greater for short pass this time, 70 or greater, and then 90 or greater. So the 90 or greater is going to be hard to unlock. It's also going to be hard to beat given that it is on all Madden as well. So the style master is something I'm going to try to do right away if I can, but it's not going to be the easiest thing. But that'll do it for the introduction to Mutt 16. Let me know what you guys think of it, and let me know if you're excited to get your hands on Madden 16. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.